हेलो हेलो बोथ ऑन यू एबल टू सी माय स्क्रीन या ओके इफ यू गाइस हैज एनी क्वेश्चन और क्वेरी यू कैन चैट हियर ओके एंड आल्सो यू कैन से एनीथिंग इफ यू हैव टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक दैट व्हाट इज द जावा एंड हाउ मच जावा इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ऑटोमेट योर एनी एप्लीकेशन ओके so i hope that my wife is clear today now yeah you are clear so first of all we will start with the java that what is java and uh, when we start with the automation that we have a, everybody has a concept that how much java is required how much we need to learn because java is still a very hot language and uh, mm-hmm. everybody have some doubt that how much java we need to learn so how much java is enough to automate any application or something else so I will cover few tutorial or few lecture in this series, and I will cover all the important topics which is uh, required to automate your application for a small or medium mm-hmm. project. Also, okay. So okay. we will start from very basic introduction that what is the Java. So if you go to my mm-hmm. website and you will see content section like uh, core Java introduction. So here I have written the basic description like. Uh, what is java and what is jvm and then uh, uh, where the memory so i will cover with you all this step by step okay. so first of all is uh, that uh, what is java okay. so java is just a programming language developed by the sun microsystem and was created by the gm and it is 1995 as the core component of sun microsystem java okay. so these are the basic features like the uh, object oriented the form is dependent simple slow architecture uh, is neutral and portable so it have the robust base it have the multi thread it have multi uh, interpreted and these are the basic features of the java and we will cover one by one first of all i will let you know that uh, why java is platform independent by other is language so first of all we will talk about the scope and development of the api so we need to see so first of all when we used to write our code in the c program language so this is the source file we need to write our code in the c file so our code will not have to go on we need to write it. then a pre processor will come and it will add some header files of your C program language in your source file and it will convert it to the temporary file and this temporary file will be handled by the compiler and the compiler will now change it to temporary file of the file which is in the source now this will come and it will add to library file and it will convert to source of the source file to the So the header file and library file both are defined in your C++ program that you use to store your code. So header file which has the description and library file that the description of the code. So it is a basic tool to store all your C++ C++ program. So it is a basic tool. But in Java, it is a computer language like that in Java. So compiler is even important. So the compiler what it will do? Check your source file dot Java. It will take your dot class file from here, and it will just directly convert this class file to the file mode dot class file. Okay. Now this file mode we need only JVM to read this code, the binary code. So whatever your OS, you need the JVM as per your OS. So if you are using the Windows OS, you need the JVM for Windows, then Windows for Linux, and so on. So now we will get only two things like Java compiler and the JVM. After using the JVM, your Java will not be compiled. So this is uh, all about the why the Java is not compiled. So here I have also written the best feature of Java is that it is compiled and it is compiled and it is compiled to one application of the system and it is compiled to another platform like this. So now we can. I do more all right work that is here. So, 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 so,
three things we need to understand in java before we are starting to uh, moving with the coding part so we have to understand what is the class what is the object what is the package so before that we have to uh, understand that where they will reside where what is the memory for which how java will uh, or jvm will specify these or things inside the memory so memory allocation is java not use any kind of access specifier then java will consider it as a default so actually we have four types of the access specifier and somebody also saying it as no modifier no modifier okay so actually we have three access specifier if we will not use any one of them then java will change it to the default access specifier so let's understand it by a very good example for example that you have a pen okay so the pen is just like a public property you can access your pen you, your brother can access your pen your neighbor can access your pen and in the world if somebody will ask you about the pen you can also give it now if i talk about your your bike then your bike you can access your brother can access and your neighbor can access but any strange person or unknown person can never access your bike okay so third thing that if i will say that the default modifier then for example your tv so the tv you can see that your tv your brother can see the tv but never in general will not see the tv 
and also student person will not see your program in your team. If I say about the private, then your cell phone, it is a private property. You will not want to share with anyone, whether it is your brother or your neighbor or some exchange people. So these are all the things that we are talking about the access specify. It means these are all the classes and you are inside some page, same package with a subclass and you can say another package with a subclass and some other. So these are something like that. Okay. So now we will move with the Java. So these all concepts you will get more clear. So if you have any doubt or concern, you can raise your finger. So it's all about the basic part of the Java that it is specified data type also. So <coughs> These are the basic data types like the byte, sort, it as the programming language long, double, float, character. So important data types are character that you have to remember, boolean, integer, and sort. These are the three, four mainly kind of data characters. Uh, you can say that the data type which is most usable in your programming language. So the basic overview of the Java has been done like that. We have only few things in the Java like stack and keep memory. As I informed you that in that tag, there will be the, you can say, uh, your all the methods will be there in your deep memory, all the objects will be there. Okay. I have also written these all things over here in my website that before we create any object, it makes sense to understand where things live and how long they live for. So two area of memory to care about. One where the object lives at the deep memory and other where the method invocation and the local variable is, it is the exact one. Okay. Also, when a JVM startup, it gives it gets a chunk of memory from your underlying web and it is used to run the your Java program. How much memory draw it gets? That depends on your version of your JVM. Usually you will not have to care about how much memory it gets. Okay. So all all objects are garbage collectible on the heap. So it's all about the basics of the Java, which is enough for you to know before starting with the Java. So let me give one more example of a class, object and method. For example, uh, there is a class. Okay. So class is nothing but it's just a collection of your extent. Extent means a member of the class or the object and the method means for example if I will say that uh, just prepare a cup of tea so what will be the method you will start your burner you will put some uh, about the class object and the method uh, inside a Java program so what actually is happening for example the class the class is that it is just you can say the collection of the member. For example, if I will say that member of the same property or something, you can say that uh, for example that I will talk about the class uh, of the ninth class, this class. So what the property of this class? All the students belong to the ninth class inside here. Now all the students who are inside that class will have their different property. Okay. So now the method. So what the object can do is known as the method. Means, for example, that if I will say to you that uh, just prepare a cup of tea, then what will be the extent of that method? That is, so what will be the extent of the method? method name become like the prepare the key. Okay, so it's very similar to the Java. There is a separate predefined method and we have also we have also created some type of method. That's it, nothing. Just you need to create some method means that method means how the task will be done. So all the steps are written as a Sometimes you have to create your own method, sometimes uh, 
uh, you know the predefined method so there is nothing to just edit the block or or just the block of code to write an example which way you get a dynamic to the carrier so java is just nothing just a game of your class and the object of that class
another class method this is another class but we are inside the same package to access another class method we just need to create the object of this class for example this class name is uh, you can say that class 2 so now you have to create the object for this class 2 from where you want to access the method <laughs> now by this method you can access this method. Okay. So this is a very simple concept that, that it's all about the as I told you Java is nothing but it's all about the class object and method. Every time you need to create some object you have to access some method. Sometimes you have to create or more method. Okay. So this all things in the Java. So Sometimes we will use the predefined method, sometimes we will create our own method. So, it's all about the Java 
here I am also giving a certain example that it is class and also I want to print something. So let me write something. So it's all about the class objects and method. I hope that much more concept is clear. That what is the class and what is the main method, then how to create the object and how to call the method of some class, how to perform some operation. Okay, so let's move on to another topic. Like uh, yes. So I hope that it's enough for today. From tomorrow we will start the oops concept. First of all, just download and install uh, Java and Eclipse in your machine and practice some Java code like basic program and also the how to find the greatest number among three numbers and these all things. You have to practice for it and if you have any doubt and concern, then ask to me. So enough for today. Have a great day.